Well, Tom and Jen, Lisa Byron is pleading not guilty to seven federal felony counts. And today, the judge in her case denied bail, meaning she'll spend the holidays behind bars until her trial begins in early January. Thanks for your interest in Alliance Defending Freedom. We're a Christian organization focusing on the legal defense of religious freedom, the sanctity of life, marriage, and the family. Lisa Byron had a clean record until now. The Manchester attorney was arrested in October, charged with possessing images of child sexual abuse. Just before a scheduled court hearing on those charges in Manchester District Court Friday, the FBI took her into custody and drove her away in this white sedan, delivering her to the U.S. District Court in Concord. The U.S. attorney says those sex abuse images involve a teen girl Byron allegedly offered up for sex on the website Craigslist. Craigslist was used by her as a mode of solicitation in order to solicit uh, uh, men, adults, some juveniles to come and uh, to have engage in sexual activities with a minor. The indictment says in May of this year, Byron transported a minor girl under the age of 18 to Ontario, Canada, with the intent that she would engage in sexual activity. It appears some of those activities were recorded. Court documents make reference to computer video files and a digital image. Byron is charged with coercing the victim to engage in sexually explicit conduct for the purpose of producing those files. These are the most serious uh child pornography, child sexual exploitation charges in the federal criminal code. Uh, they carry substantial penalties because of the gravity of these offenses. In arguing against bail for Byron, prosecutors noted that she told the FBI on Friday they would find a loaded Colt 45 under her mattress, even though the court ordered her not to have any weapons after her first arrest. They say she also sent a threatening text message to a potential witness. When it came to making a decision on bail, the judge was particularly hard on Ms. Byron due to those violations of her prior conditions uh, for bail, saying as an attorney, she should have known better. Reporting from Concord, Sexton, WMUR.